Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Let's Learn the Mods. Uh, last episode we covered research for Thomcraft. Um, and there was a couple, well, one thing I forgot to mention. Um, as I said last time, when you go through research, you can research things in the world and they will give you aspects. Well, there's alternate things that you can research in the world, which are nodes. Um, nodes can be found either on their own, in obelisks, in Thomcraft Hills, or in Silverwood Trees. Um, usually on their own, they're not visible. Um, as you can see, they're extremely hard to see. Um, but if you have, say, your thermometer, you, you can see them a lot easier. Um, in fact, they're really easy to see. You can see them through the ground and whatnot. Or if you have the goggles of revealing, which also allow you to see them without the thermometer in your hand. And the great thing about these is you can come up to them and you can actually hold right click and research each aura node. And these will give you the aspects you need, see? As we as we go down the line, some were already researched as you can see, um, and others weren't. Um, see, we just got aspects from that. So that's something you want to know. You can also use them to refill your wand. So um, say you need like fire and whatnot, you'd go find um, a fire node and whatnot. But one thing you would want to know is um, you never want to drain these to zero. If you do, there's a chance they won't recharge that aspect that was re drained to zero. Um, although if you do enough research, it'll make it so it'll um, the wand will only drain it down to one. But early on, um, when you don't have the research, I would advise to um, keep a close eye on the numbers and never drain it below one. Okay, now to what we were going to cover today. Um, today, I was going to cover Essentia Distil Distillation and its basic um, uses. Um, I'm going to cover one of its main uses, which is Infusion. Um, infusion basically allows you to make artifact gear, um, like really nice um, uh, tools and weapons and whatnot. For example, um, you get the pickaxe of the core, axe of the stream, um, your arcane boar, boots of the traveler. Um, you get you get brain in a jar, um, which is under enchanting, but this is a form of infusion. Um, to to explain it, um, basically, this is the Essentia cost. Um, and as you know, each item in the world that you were researching has um, different requirements. Or, well, not requirements, aspects. So, um, when you research them, you'll find out which items has which aspects. And if you um, put them in an Essentia distillation, um, which is basically the distiller, you set the items in here and then you burn it up with charcoal. It'll break down it into its base aspects. So if you research a zombie brain, you would know that it has four cognito, um, two of the meat, and two examinists. Um, so if you threw this into here, you would essentially get um, four cognito, two meat, and two examinists. Um, to distribute this to the jars, we use this thing called... Um, Essentia tubes. You attach it to the um, to the distillation tower, and then you can run it along all here, and then it'll distribute it evenly throughout the warded jars. Um, you can only have like one type of um, Essentia in each jar, uh, but you can essentially have as many jars as you want. Um, and how does this link into infusion? You might be asking. Well, as I was saying before. Um, for example, brain in the jar, it needs 10 cognito, 20 examinus, and 10 census. So let's see what we have here. Um, let's see if we got any census, examinus, and cognito. Okay, we got plenty of cognito. Um, hmm. Seems we're missing um, census as well as examinus. So, oh yeah, we got a little bit of examinus, but we're going to need more. So let's burn that up. Alright, so that's that's doing all right on burning. Um, let's get some uh, census in there. Okay, and a little thing you should know about um, the infusion altar. Basically, if you do this, there's a um, there's a slight chance that the the infusion will fail, 
um, well, not so much fail, like um, things will get knocked off, um, it'll consume extra amounts of, um, of stuff if it's unable to complete, it'll continue um, sucking out Essentia. Um, it, so it's a good idea to have basically like say double or triple of what you're trying to make because if you don't have the items and it's not able to complete things will go bad. I will, um, I'll use an example, um, af uh, maybe at the end of the video to kind of give you an idea of what could go bad. But for now, we're going to try to go for a successful one. And there's, there's ways you can, um, reduce, um, the amount of failure rate. Um, one way is to use tallow candles, which you gain through alchemy, which I'll be explaining in a later video. So if you have plenty of these candles, generally you are not going to run into an issue of um, of the infusion failing. Well, there will be less of an issue. And although I have this laid out pretty badly, it's a good idea to lay this out symmetrically. Um, this is completely unsymmetrical, I know. I just kind of laid it out quickly. So, okay, so let's get started. The Thaumonomicon tells us that we need two spider eyes, one on either side, a warded jar in the middle, a water bucket, and a zombie brain. So let's do that. We got our water bucket, we got our spider eye, we got warded jars, and we got zombie brains. So we'll put the warded. We'll put the water bucket over here. Then um, we got our second spider eye. Put our warded jar there. Now let's let's move this actually. Put it right there. And then we'll put this here. So let's see if we got the Essentia. Yep. Yeah. So we got 19 senses, which is more than enough. So long as your thing doesn't fail. We got 27 co um, Cognito, plus more Cognito. Uh, don't quite have enough Examinus, so we should probably do something about that. So let's just throw more in here. Um, another good item is Spawners for Examinus. Um, but other than that, it's kind of fairly hard to get an examinus, unfortunately. Um, but thankfully, I'm in creative, so I don't have to worry about that. So let's see, spawners. Let's let's cheat in some spawners. There we go. Big spawners. We can burn these up. All right, and we'll let that go. Oh, uh, maybe big spawners don't work. Um, let's see. Yeah, whatever. It should be enough. Oh wait, skeleton spawners. There we go. That should do it. See, there. That's burning just fine. All right. So to start this up, we just take our wand, um, and then we right-click it, and it should start up. And if we have, oh, oh, something already happened. Did we lose our spider eye? We lost our spider eye. Okay. So even right at the start, um, the spider eye literally just got zapped away. So you gotta keep that in mind. Oh, and there, there goes the other one. So. Yeah, pay attention when you're doing this. Make sure nothing falls off because stuff can really go wrong. Because it'll start consuming more Essentia than you really want to. Um, if you don't, okay, now it's sucking in the items, but we need to get our spider eye down and then uh, in our brain. I don't. I think we lost it. Okay, so that sucked in the other spider eye, sucked in the water bucket, and then we're. Oh, it's done. Okay, cool. So. That was a basic example of stuff getting knocked off. Uh, so be careful when you're doing that. If stuff gets knocked off, put it back on ASAP or it's going to start consuming a more essentia than you may have and just cause a whole ton of troubles. Um, all right, so let's use an example of why you want to, um, to have these candles. Let's get rid of these here. And you don't have to use candles, you can use like um, skulls and whatnot from Thomcraft. Um, anything really works. It says like arcane um, arcane artifacts when you're setting it up. Let's see, where is it? It's uh, here. Uh, arcane artifacts. And it says it right over here. Skulls, crystals, etc, etc. But I just use candles. Because they were simple. Alright, so let's try this... Um, with a fairly high chance of failing. Or, well, not so much failing, but 
more stuff going wrong. All right, let's see. Uh, let's get a little more senses before we do this. Um, I need cocoa beans. Cocoa beans. All right, toss a bunch of that in there. Oh, that's enough of that. Oh, no, not for that door. There we go. All right, so that'll melt it down, and then we'll just wait on that real quick. All right, oh, and we need to examine this anyways as well. Um, so, looks like these are still empty. Yama, you can do it. All right, so we're short on some examiners, unfortunately. Oh, no, there it goes. All right, so should be about ready. And this is probably going to use extra of this, so stuff is probably going to go really wrong. All right, so let's start it up. This is going to be fun to watch, guys. It's, But I assure you, it's not fun to watch when... Oh, more to jar. Durr. Put it there. All right, now let's start it up. Okay. So this is not something you want to happen when you're actually trying to finish this. Oh, see, oh, bad stuff's already happening. There we go. See, like, flux is going into the air. Oh, flux is all over here. Oh, boy, this is a mess. Constant vigilance. Uh, okay, took in the brain. It's taken in the spider eyes. Oh wait, did I get knocked off? Let's, I, I don't know. Let's make sure it didn't. Okay, I think... Okay, so that was lucky, but that's, like, obviously some stuff was going haywire. It, it could go much worse. Like, things could start spawning, and it just, it could get really bad. So, that's basically what I wanted to cover today. Um on infusion. So catch me next time. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few more tutorials on this stuff because there's still a good amount to cover. I have, I don't even think I've really barely scratched the surface of what I wanted to cover with Thomcraft. So um, stay tuned and thank you. Um, have a good day.